Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And I want to do a quick video on this story. So a customer wants to sue a Honda dealership after they called her Bonquisha on a Facebook post. So basically, she went to this Honda dealership. She purchased a car. And to congratulate her, they said, you know, they wanted to congratulate Bonquisha on her Toyota Camry. Let me play what she had to say about it and go through these posts. A stereotype for someone named Bonquisha seems like a stereotype for someone, you know, for it to be like ghetto and saying someone. It's something people use towards black people as a racial slur and as an offensive term. And so, so I feel like my character was played with. I mean, I think I carried myself in a very well manner. You know, and I don't think I act as a Bonquisha. And, and, that, and that isn't your name. It's not my name. I should, if I'm addressed, I should be addressed as Trinity Bethune. Okay, so as you can see on the post, it says, Congratulations to Bonquisha on her 2016 Camry. And this was on the Lumberton Honda's Facebook page. She seen that and she said, Whoa. I'm not sure if this is a joke or something, but my name is definitely Trinity Bethune. I'm very offended by this post. It's almost a blank slur. If I'm not addressed by my name, then please don't address me at all. So then Trinity's brother chimed in and said, this is not how I plan to congratulate my little sister on her first car purchase. This is completely intentional, disgusting, unfair, and many other adjectives. I could use to describe this situation. Rather than responding like a Bonquisha, I'm responding like a Karen. This was not a mistake with the exception of the letter N. Her name is spelled using the first row of the keyboard. Typing Bonquisha requires effort and intent. I'm outraged that she was publicly humiliated without a public slash private apology. I'm waiting to hear back from a couple of my colleagues in the legal space, but please tell me if this is something my family should explore. She's not well at the moment. If you know her, please send love her way. So that's what the brother had to say. And Trinity chimed in and said, to everyone asking, could this just be an honest mistake? No, it could not have been. It was intended as a joke, I'm assuming. I'm very offended. If you know what a Bonquisha, um, you know, I mean, you will also, wait, wait. If you know what a Bonquisha, you will be also. As a black woman, I carry myself in a way where I will not have to be stereotyped. This is public humiliation at the least, and I deserve an apology. Okay. So a lot of people chimed in and they said, you know, they attacked this woman for absolutely no reason and then tried to humiliate her on a public platform. I love, another person said this was the last place that they would go to buy a Honda. Other people were saying, you know, sorry that this happened to her. Um, another person said no regard for human decency anymore. People just say and do whatever they feel. Um, another person, see, it don't matter how good you behave, they still going to look at you like you're less than. And then another person chimed in to clarify and say, the person who ran their Facebook page was fired. Callers who are upset about this have been told on the phone. The management team have met about the issue and are waiting to issue a formal apology to Trinity Bethune. I don't know why they feel they need to wait to formally apologize for this. The disrespectful treatment of Miss Bethune should have never occurred in the first place. Waiting isn't going to help anyone. Also, they had a formal Facebook page this morning. Due to angry reviews from people concerned about Miss Bethune's treatment, they have turned off or deleted their Facebook page. If their attempt at damage control is just to delete social media outlet, it will not keep a uh, public, I guess, from, you know, giving their opinion. And then the last person equated this to a uh, being called a Karen or a Becky. So this person says, most of the same people mad call whites Karen and Becky with no problem, but they definitely either should address her by name or not at all, especially when addressing her buying a car from their job. They'll probably do damage control by the end of the day and give her a free car, at least decreased price or an upgrade car. So to his first point, he felt like, you know, most of the people acting outraged are the same people who religiously call, 
you know, white people, Karens, or Becky. And I will say to that, you know, normally when a person is being called a Karen or something like that, it is because they are exuding certain behavior, profiling people, and acting in a manner. Now, if a black person is to be acting in a ghetto manner, I wouldn't be, I would not be outraged if they called them a bonquisha. I'm sorry. Like, if you were acting in a ghetto manner, you were acting, you know, crazy or, or doing some foolish fo buffoonery, that would be one thing. But her going in her um, scrubs and her work attire, going to spend her money, doing a purchase on what should be a good accomplishment, that's no way, shape, or form comparable to being a Karen or a Bonquisha. So, um... I don't agree with that, but I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that call, being called um, Bonquisha is equivalent to being called a Karen? And I feel like people use those names when you exude a certain type of behavior. I don't see her with a bonnet on. I don't see her in, you know, anything that would allude to being, you know, any of those types of stereotypes. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think below. What do you think uh, Lumberton Honda should do going forward as they claim Bonquisha, it seems like they are um, preparing for a statement in this regard? Let me know what you guys think, but I just wanted to do a quick video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.